Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition or should I say Apartment Simulator 3. We have got an apartment and we have used a toothbrush to defeat my evil clone. This game had me in tears earlier. <laughs> like in both kinds of tears. In joy within this DLC and actual tears with Grunt, Morden, Thane and Legion. But, let's forget them, and the fact that maybe we could have saved some of them, and they could have been in this DLC. Whoops. Uh, we have got some dates to go on. We've also got to purchase some party supplies. I bought all of the furniture. Hello. For a full list of quality products, please browse our catalogue. I've already brought everything you have, so I'm not going to be uh, expecting anything else. Um... Right, uh, I guess let's just wander around and see who we meet first, because this is a big old place. Um, now that is a beautiful car. Really? Why exactly? It's a Mark II 2187 Black. Top speed is 650 clicks. Come on, Top Flight called it the sky car of the century. All right, all right. Yeah. It's, it's it's a black car. It's very, very nice. Uh, high scores? Aria Talok is top scorer. Balavon? I assumed he died. Uh, Bray, second in command, being beaten by a Volus. Come on, man. Bailey, you're the head of C-Sec. You're a commander. You're letting the team down. Herc. Hercules? Uh, Etheta. That's... That's the Krogan Asari. Oh. She's quite far down. Bernard Plim. Exactly the same as the others. Al Jelani, the journalist. Jordan Knowles. Knowles. I know that name from somewhere. And Toli Mayer. Well, Al Jelani is showing some skills. Alright, we'll see. We'll see where I can get on there later on. Um... I assume it's through here. New player. What? Need new player. Hello there. You play easy. Fight, lady. Yes, I'm sure this isn't Pretty a scam queen. at all. Follow lady. Well, I didn't see the switch. Where? Oh, where? Oh, you lose. Okay, You're okay. Go on then. Oh. It's in this one. Okay, that's fine. Find the lady. Oh, oh. It's gonna be in the middle winner, one now. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, big winner. It is in the second one. You lose again. I don't like this game. I'm not sure if you can win. Oh, he is called Hustler. So yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe that's an impossible to win sort of scenario. Uh, tickets. This is like a big arcade. Armax VI. Hello. You're a Turian. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Female Armax Turian. Arsenal Arena. Second Armax one. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, because I have dates to go on with my entire crew, because I am a hussy. Um, there's no one in five. That's the only one down here, so... Combat simulator upgrades. Zero prizes remaining. Oh, oh, hang on. Spin zone. Dark energy is ravaging the landscape and your battle is in the eye of the storm. Leave your enemies thunderstruck when you play in this layout with a twist. Primeval. The Armax classic. Pain train. Brimstone. Allows Rex to fight alongside you. Jack! Is this how we unlock? We get people in... Okay. 
collector combat set. No, I don't want to fight collectors. Super Elite Challenge mode. No. <laughs> Mirror match. Fight enemies with different powers based on Commander Shepard's combat ability. No. That sounds very difficult. And I do get the feeling that it's going to show up Shepard's lack of ability. <laughs> and I'm going to have to get my friends in to help me out. Uh, right. We will do that. We will give that a go. But... Uh, where are we? One, two... There's no one here. Um, three, six, and eight. Oh, they're all at the end. Blastos, partner in crime. Hustler still getting money. Uh, hello. No funny business. Nope, no funny business. Just come here to drink. This is the exact same place that we had the function earlier on. Alcor! Hello, my friend. I don't believe I've saved the people that I was supposed to, actually. So, uh, we'll get to that later. We'll have a quick game on here, Varen Racing. Let's have a game. Bosley, something clever. Brr. Grow a quad. Easy on the wrinkle. Five minutes, people. Grow a quad. We're going all in. We're winning a profit and leaving. We're taking the house. Come on, grow a quad. This Baron has the heart of a threshold. Too close to call. Grow a quad oh yes. Booyah. Grow a quad. Excellent. Nope. Baron race starts soon. Nope. I'm out. Quit while you're ahead. Uh, How's Shorely treating you? Hello. Good. The break was nice. We've been fighting Reaper-controlled Geth. Oh, that's Lovely. brutal. I know, right? Why do they even bother equipping us with barriers against those guys? Hey, at least you can get your barriers back up if you charge someone. Can you? <laughs> I I'm, I don't have barriers, so... uh. No access. Beat it. Okay. Um, doesn't seem to be anyone around here. Who is meant to be here? We're in seven. No one's in seven. But there is a bar somewhere. With a garrison in it. Oh, is that upstairs? That's where we saw Mr. Ashland Man. What should we do first? Hello? Wait for Garrus. Okay. We're going on our first date, and it's with Garrus again. We went snipering with him before. Garamundo! Dressed to impress, man! Turning heads. With another female Turian! A three! Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Reach and flexibility. Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. <laughs> Calibrating it. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? Mm hmm. I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um. Go on, man, you got hmm. this. Hello? And hmm. uh, she is very pretty. I really do like the female Turian sort of face plates. They really make them streamlined, and they look feminine right away, but still look like armored motherfuckers. Like they are. <laughs> uh, do, I, I don't want to make him the bad boy. Come on, she's pretty. Compliment her. See, see if you can gauge your reaction and then act accordingly. Hello, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent overall. Oh, thank you. I think. <laughs> it's like me chatting up a woman. You look adequate. 
for my needs. I'm sorry. Um, you're looking for a good time. Yeah, just ask to shagger. No, let's keep it simple, man. Just, just I buy her a drink and say hello. What do you do? Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. She should go. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Garrus. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. I don't know if that recovers from the creepy start, but I'm happy to play wingman, Garrus. Let, let's get you laid, my friend. Tally's gonna hate me. <laughs> uh, bartender. What can I get for you? Everything. Party supplies. I did get told not to buy them, just as a safety precaution. So we will leave that for a little bit. Um, I think that's pretty much it up here. Now we get to go out. Try our quad kicker cocktail in the silver sun bar on the second floor. I want a quad quick, a quad quicker. You fighting any other races? Bit of everything. Surf with some humans, and one drell who was really annoying. We'd finished off a wave and we're regrouping, and this Justicar and I set off heavy biotic blasts. Yeah, like you do. And then the Drell just wades in and starts kicking the air for no reason. Why the hell would he do that? I have no idea. Okay, it's a little random. Um, I think this is out the way out. Then we get to go and see Mrs. Trainer. Funny business. Oh, Javik. Hello. Javik wants to see a bit more of the Citadel. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? <laughs> I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. <laughs> Who says it will? It'll be a movie star. A I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You can play yourself. Sure. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. What was that meant to be me? Quickly, quickly! <laughs> Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. Where's the script? And... Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently face draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Who wrote this script and can I have a copy of it, please? So are you guys just making this up or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah, you die now! Not yet! Vorture Counselor? Later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. <laughs> it is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. <laughs> Prothean, no like you! <laughs> Don't think he does, Did man. someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Oh, that's Blasto! Blasto, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. Did Blasto just shove us aside? This one cried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually, that was me. Yeah. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. 
Not letting Blasto take credit. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> but it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? They worship you, man. Oh, but... dear, no like you. <laughs> I love that portrait. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You're an idiot. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. <laughs> How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe. Now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? <laughs> we don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Oh, shit. Look! It's Sober's half-brother Sluggard. <laughs> and he's looking for some payback. <laughs> cue the stunt double. <laughs> your line. Say Just your line. He him across the set. He'll die now. Oh no, the Vulture Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vulture. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. Yes. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Sure. sure. Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Don't we kill him. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> I want to see the whole film. Oh, that's amazing. Cure the stunt double. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, I can talk to you, Elko. Informative. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Of course. Absolutely I will. What an Elko actor. So can we expect more Elko Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. Oh, he brings a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye for talent. I mean, it's going to be an event. You'd watch that. Just You'd go just for the train wreck. Good evening, now. Thank you. Take that. It's real steel. The Hugh Jackman movie. Shifty cow. Who the fuck is Shifty cow? James Vega. All right, I'll give this a go. How'd you play it? Punch your opponent to lower your health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible while earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that is charging up. Okay, so it's rock, paper, scissors, basically. Um, block beats jab. Heavy punch beats block. Jab beats block. Uh, jab beats heavy punch. Consecutive jabs cause increased score. Earn a prize for achieving a high score. So it's R, hold R, L. Oh, nice, easy. Real steel. Let's go, Adam. Jab, 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 jab. Nope, nope, jab. Padulkin! Nice punch! Thank you. Don't stop now! Uh. A dog. Nice punch. Thank you. Oh, he's, he's lost his head. You can do better than that. You're doing great. 
Fatality! That'll do. Okay. Nice punch. Damn it. Watch out. You're doing great. Easy. Sparking a bit from my head, but that's fine. Nah. There we go. Nice punch. Don't stop now. Left and right, left and right, combo, combo. You're doing great. I'm sure we're gonna die at some point. Nice punch. Don't stop now. Oh yeah. Nice punch. Oh shit! <laughs> Every time he loses the head, I assume I've won. You're doing great. Yeah, I am. What are the prizes are? They stuff for the apartment. Nice punch. Don't stop now. This isn't looking good. Oh no, no, my face! Come on, nice punch. yes. Shuriken! There you go, this is easy. It's gonna be easy. Do I not grow my head back? Nice punch! Left and right jab, left Don't and right stop jab. Put up! Nice punch! There we go. You're doing great! I can't see what the number is that I'm on, so I'm at least on 565. Five. I'm hoping there's a 1 there. Nice punch. Game over. Oh no! Congratulations. Blew up my face! Whereabouts am I? Shep? Okay, Shepard, not too bad. I beat James Vega and I beat a fat Volus. I got beaten by a journalist. And a shifty cow. Which could actually be Al Jelani. Well, okay, that was fun. Do I not get a prize? Or do you have to win the high score to get a prize? I think this one's broken. Towers of Hanoi. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. Oh, that's the game with the, the rings around the sticks. That's the, um... Oh, it was on Novaria. It was like use a billion Omnigel or solve the Towers of Hanoi. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. <laughs> well, that has got PTSD for it now. Relay defense. Target enemies as they appear on the screen. Keep launching allied ships on a row to get them safely to the mass relay. To maintain a score multiplier and receive points. Only three missiles can be active at one time. Destroy enemies before they damage the planet. If your planet takes too much damage, the game is over. Earn a prize for achieving a high score. Well, all right. Let's give that a go. L, R, T, L, T. L, T to send a ship. R, T to blow up a ship. It's like asteroids? Space invaders? Enemies uh, approaching. What? Am I, am I doing okay? Don't quite understand the rules. Stay alert. I'm trying. I think I've got it. Enemies approaching. Yeah. My planet is taking damage or not. No, oh, shit. Sending civilians to kamikaze the enemy. Miss enemies approaching. Er, enemies approaching. 
Send more people. There's next to no commentary on here because I don't know if I'm doing well or not. I'm not dead yet. But... And uh... And uh, I keep just camcarsing on that civilians. Stay alert. It's fine. <laughs> no. Enemies approaching good. Fine. You're good. Yeah, I am. Hey. I'm sure I'm doing all right. No. Keep it up. Hey. This is not doing Shepard's PTSD any good from that kid at the beginning of the game. Planet got blown up. That's a new high score. Okay, I'm on. I'm on there. That's all right. Mouse, the guy that worked with Thane, is insanely good at this game. Where's he getting quarters from? Ah, uh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know that's like man. Wait for trainer. Oh, we can have a date. Can we have a date, please? My little English chess playing cherub. Space chess? Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian gamut. It is, it's space this? chess. Yeah. Space chess? <laughs> exactly. It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Chess trash talk. <laughs> Trainer, <laughs> would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Okay, you're either going to kill her or sleep with her. I don't know just yet. But, okay, so this is like space chess. And you're really good at it. So that's cool. I am more than happy to... Uh, to, to watch you do this. Win this thing is very generic, but I cannot stress how much Trainer has grown as a person. From literally the person who was accidentally on the ship at the beginning of the game. I was doing retrofits and then you took off. So you kidnapped me, basically. Um, yeah, so you have grown so much as a person because we would not be finding Cerberus without your help. That was before you helped I wouldn't have found Intel for Jack. the Galactic War. Without her You're help. right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Hell yeah, you have. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Oh. My girl. Come on. Queen's Gambit. Oh, damn it. Ah! That's not good. So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. That's kind of cool. A bit like Ash in the eighth gym of Pokemon. Whenever he got his Pokemon got a hit, he got A few more centuries, zapped. trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game.
I mean, it is very true that, like, for a human to even be competing with an Asari, like, if you were trainer's age, you would be literally a child. So the fact that she's caught up with you in her much smaller amount of years, you ain't that good. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia? You had all the warning in the world, and the Reapers just rolled in. Holy shit, Excuse man. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. Calm it down. The trash talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either, or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tazuza. This might sting a bit. Come on, girl. The killer. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. That's okay. You All killed a, a woman. Cause, trainer. Carry on. <laughs> With a heart condition, you just died. Um. Is that it? Are we not? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I hope she wins. I mean, I, I don't know if that was the last round, but... I like Shepard just going, oh, by the way, you should have been helping your doomed planet. <laughs> you are just the Asari suck as a whole. The world is dying, but I will take you down for my friend to win this chess game. Kepesh Yakshi. I'm surprised they used the Yakshi part so... obviously. If... The Ardat Yakshi are an embarrassment to Asari. Surely you'd stay well clear of just that word? But, hey, serial killer chess works for me. What's that? Oh, is that leaving? Oh, I don't want to leave just yet. Out of trouble. So, I think there's more up here that we haven't seen. Did we at least clean up that woman off the floor? Because, like, she did get zapped to holy hell. Great prizes! You could win! Oh, Zaid! Hello! You're mine, you bastard! God damn it! How you doing, man? Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. I agree. I can't what win the, the shit. There was a kid here. Sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? Oh. He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? <laughs> Male credit, pride. Shepherd. Don't you want to do something else, man? We can go shoot shit up. We can go do poker. Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? <laughs> you really want one of those plushy toys. God damn right I do. Okay then. I respect Credit. that so much. Say please. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Are you flirting with me, Shepard? Please. <laughs> it's sure leave. The Alliance is paying for this. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Wow. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. No, we had them on Earth. I'm going back in. <laughs> Do I feed the addiction? All right. Hey. Here you go, sweetheart. Oh, 
What's a little volus splashy? Okay, We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Let's play. But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. <laughs> Just wanted to win a little Volus plushie. Can I play? Can I get a plushie? Game rules. When the game starts, the player can move the claw. Activate the claw above the prize you wish to claim. Win any prize that the claw picks up and delivers to the prize slot. Value of the prize is determined by the colour of the ball. Orange grand prize, a weapon mod. Purple large prize, furnished by homespun decor. Blue medium prize, furnished by homespun decor. Green token prize, furnished by homespun decor. So a child can get the orange one and... What will you win? Oh, shit. Okay. So do I, like... Did I get the orange one? Wanna try? I mean, if it's that easy, yeah. A sword. A <laughs> I'm going to use that. That's amazing. Okay, let's, uh... I want the purple. Burnished by Homes Fundical. I got a plushy Volus! We're going all win? in. I just want to see what you get for each colour. Music track winner. for the apartment. Cool. What will you win? Like... These are, some of these are pretty cool. Now the blue one. Congratulations. You're Music track winner. for the apartment, okay. What will you Let's win? double up on one of the colours and see if it's the same thing. This one gave me the plushy volus. Oh, okay, so I got each of the prizes now. <clears throat> so there's two music tracks and a plushy Volus. <laughs> oh, those poor Volus, they're just like the mockery of the galaxy. Um Did you catch the updated Intel report on stripping enemy defenses? It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's recruit reading. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? As if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. If you're staring down a hallway at a Cerberus Centurion, you deploy an energy drain on their shields. Or just overload them, sure. And if you come up against a Marauder, you detonate your tech armor. Exactly. Wait, what? I like the engineer. I am on your side, my friend. You just overload the shields. Or you do what I do and throw out about 50 different uh, pet things, Enough. like turrets and... Uh, and uh, drones, and then let them do it. Um, that is everyone done. So I'm hoping. So I'm to a hot spot on Novaria. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are nearby. I just wanted a nice, smooth mission. You know, professional. Ended up a damn train wreck. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad may be good. Random group, never good. And some of the things here are being a... They're a bit random. I'm not quite getting some of them. <clears throat> but it is nice to have some ambient conversations. I always like listening to some stuff like that. Um, Back to the apartment to see where my Volus plushie is. You have received a new message. I have a new message. About time to have hiccups. Glyph, how you doing, bud? Oh, 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 oh! And we also... Oh, look at these. Right. 
So the shelving units. I mean, we've got to go modern, haven't we? Artistic. Although in real life, I'm more of a rustic kind of person. Uh, I do like these more standard stuff. But uh, the walls. Who doesn't love some aged wood? The sentence that means I sleep with older guys. But standard coffee table, light coffee table. See, just the darker. It just looks a little better. I bought all this stuff and I'm ignoring it all. Standard sofa. Cozy sofa. Posh sofa. That has Cerberus vibes. So I'm not going to do that. Cozy sofa looks good. That's that's regiment. That's going to give you a stiff back. That is a proper right angle. This is lounge mode. This is me and Jack laying there and watching whatever films are in Mass Effect. <laughs> Cozy sofa. Uh, standard armchair. Basic recliner. Elegant ottoman. What the hell is an ottoman? Uh, I'm a fan of an armchair, recliner, wingback chair kind of thing. Uh, seating is done. Kitchen. Vibrant kitchen. Wholesome kitchen. You want a wholesome kitchen? Everyone's welcome. Bedding. Standard bedding. Simple bedding. I actually like the simple bedding more. It's it's that's nice. <clears throat> then the bathroom. Standard vanity, polished vanity, deluxe vanity. We are vain and we are deluxe with it. Right. Uh, private terminal. Invite. Is that's not the party, is it? Uh, housewarming. From Talizora, Shepherd. Next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. Ah, of course, Tally doesn't really have a home. Her ship is her home. Night off from Liara to Sony. Shepherd, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your your apartment and decide there. Shore leave activities from Edie. Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply and we can meet at the new apartment. All work and no play from Steve Cortez. Shepard, now that we've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. Cool, so we've got a load more. I'm going to save because I don't want to start the party. I haven't bought the supplies yet, so I'm guessing it's not going to, but invite up. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I see, I see. Um, I mean, let's just do it top down. Edie, why don't you come around the apartment? We'll chill out and break open some WD-40 and have a drink. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? <laughs> I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Why not? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while <laughs> retaining entertainment value. True. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? No. I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. Can you just hack a bank? We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Um, Something you both like? You know, it's interesting because something you both like is kind of the, the upper paragon option there, but if you're getting him a gift, you shouldn't really be picking something you like. You want to pick something he likes. He likes ships, he likes flying. Get him like a remote control ship. I'm sure you have like remote control cars but that fly. Basically drone technology, so get him a blinky. I'd go with something he's actually going to use a few times before the galaxy ends. I see. It does concern me that he is susceptible to bodily harm. Yes. Because of his bones? No, because he doesn't have 30 centimeters of reactive armor plating. The Normandy's crew have very few integral defenses. You know, 
The first step in appropriate gift giving is not to think of the recipient as a mortal sack of meat. <laughs> I'm sorry. My defense intelligence programming took the discussion in inappropriate directions. I should sublimate. What about a lower back support for his chair? There are some that heat and cool. That's cool. Sold. Yeah. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. What did you buy me? I'm sorry, I'm taken. Um, are we getting married? Jack will kill you. No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Oh, that's stunning. I love that idea. So it's metals from Earth, Thessia, Rannoch. I want to say Sir Kesh. I don't know if Sir Kesh is just one of their labs or if that's their home planet. That... Well, I said Rannoch, didn't I? It Palavan, I meant Palavan. Most of the metal you'll find on Rannoch is Geth. I don't really want to make a Geth ring just yet. Um, Almost as rare as you. That's like... That's a bit flirting. I don't really want to flirt with that. I'm, I'm a wingman. I want Joker to get his woman. Um, I'll take it but one problem. I don't know what the problem is. Because that's a really, really cool ring. And I love that. Such a good idea. Um, we'll say I'll take it because I don't want to flirt. That's thoughtful, lady. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewellery with the uniform. It's a knuckle duster, man. Come Some on. soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. That's really sweet. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. I don't know, a filofax or something? Like, just one of those big books with a binder. Get her a binder. She's got a lot of information. And this is a wholesome kitchen. I like it. That victory ring is such a cool idea. I love that. I'm not one for jewellery myself, but if you're going to get something, man, that is so good. Uh, is that music? What's our new song? I didn't listen to these before, so I don't know what the new ones actually are. But Let's just go with that. So can we invite more people up? We can, right. Jimbo. Let's go, Jimmy Vega. Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Yes. Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, <laughs> water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? <clears throat> it's interesting, that, because it's just who I am. I picked the spacer background. So it literally is who I am. I, I don't have a home. I grew up on ships. It's just who I am. I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier. But I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? 
Oh, flirting shit. with me, Vega? Right. I wanted to show you. Oh, right. I thought we were just getting naked. I wanted to show you something. What do you think? Suit you, man. N7. Fuck yeah. There ain't too many N7s being promoted right now. I'm guessing this is an unofficial N7. Like, it's not like you're getting the armor done with N7 on it. So it's just a tattoo and we'll get you the armor later. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. I know what Glad that means. Hearing. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. It's amazing Thanks how quick you by, tucked James. that in. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Oh. Hasta la vista, baby. Catch you later, Shep. Bye. What the hell? No way. James, get out of my apartment. Wander around. You've been holding out on me. It's a punch bag. Hi. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high quality stuff. <clears throat> Sand in a bit of leather. Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? As long as I'm not your workout, fine. <clears throat> you gonna watch or are you gonna join in? <clears throat> I love this. <clears throat> I'll invite you to see Jack and we'll see what she thinks. Oh, can I work out with him? This is going to be like a Top Gun homoerotic kind of <laughs> sweaty naked men playing volleyball situation. Let's do some pull-ups, man. It's a Paragon option to do. You want do. some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. Probably not. I'm still having a bit of winter weight. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding. Really? <clears throat> so what am I on four? <clears throat> and I'm going to have to go to... Got a ways to go, my friend. Yeah, I know. Stop interrupting me. <clears throat> am I having to... Do I have to do 182 presses? But this is going to be the rest of the video, isn't it? <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of grunting going on, and knowing my luck, if I talk, I'll get to like 180 and then get the wrong one. But. I mean, there's at least got to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, James. There's at least got to be an achievement for it. <clears throat> or maybe a James plushie for the room. <clears throat> or maybe this unlocks the James Vega romance <clears throat> option. My shepherd sounds like he's struggling. <clears throat> That's 20. 20? <clears throat> I've got another 162. Can we not just speed this along? I'll put a Blinky and an Eli under each foot and they'll just lift me up. Like, I used to be pretty decent at pull-ups, but we're talking like 10 in a row kind of thing. Ah, I see some sweat. Yeah, from me. My, my fingers are sweating. <clears throat> genuinely wonder what the record for pull-ups are. Because <clears throat> the stronger you are, the more muscle you have, so the heavier you are, so there has to be like a limit. I'm getting my phone out. Doesn't seem like I'm going to be doing much else in this. Good stuff, Hefe. 
Thank you. <coughs> I do not want to miss one. <laughs> I am looking down. I am typing. Forty, nice. <coughs> okay. So I've just got here. World record pull-ups in a row. 651. The most consecutive pull-ups is 651 and was achieved by Kenta Adachi from Japan during a fitness test in 2007. Oh, no, sorry. Not bad. I skipped ahead there. He achieved 651... Uh, in Takamatsu, Japan, in 2022. During a fitness test in 2007, Kenta was only able to do 12 pull-ups. So in, what, 15 oh, years, yeah. he learned how to break the record. 651. Look at tired just counting that high. <clears throat> oh, am I, am I going That's in front 60. of the... High five. No, I can't high five. Funny. There is no reason my shepherd should be able to do this <clears throat> at all. Knowing me right after this, I'm going to have a date with Jack and I'm just going to stink. Man sweat. <clears throat> trying to work out if I should edit this. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the high quality entertainment you have tuned in for. Just get to watch my following number plummet after posting this video. But I'm determined to do it because I don't want to quit. You know, I could really go for a nice juicy steak. You? You are my <clears throat> big juicy steak, big boy. I'm trying to work out if I get something for this, or if it's the <coughs> biggest double bluff ever. Or well, the biggest bluff ever, I should say. And he's just going to go, good job, and say goodbye. But if the claw machine gave me, like, a weapon mod and a Volus plushie, then this is going to be giving me something good. You look like a pro. Shut up, Vega. <laughs> yeah. Touchy, touchy. I get a little orb that can revive one character from the game so far. And I think I'm probably the same as everyone else in who I'd go for. <coughs> Jenkins. Absolutely Jenkins. <laughs> he lived a full life. <coughs> Welcome to the game. Go play. Jenkins is dead. Well done. What a start. <laughs> That's halfway to my record. We only halfway. Great. I fall asleep. <laughs> Not the fact it means that he's counting as we're doing this. Because I ain't counting. <laughs> I do wish, <laughs> I do wish that the other, I hope the others are a little bit more entertaining and action packed than this one. 100. That's impressive. Thanks. 
Just 82 to go. <clears throat> the way he's doing it as well is actually really impressive. Going in front of the bar. That hurt your neck doing that, man. <clears throat> in fact, I think doing that means that you don't <clears throat> use your neck muscles as much. And if you start using your neck muscles, <clears throat> it hurts. So that is all biceps <coughs> and traps, I think. I don't know muscles, but they're, they're muscles. <coughs> Love the fact I've played Shepard as just basically a nerd. Stay on target. Just a nerd with noodle arms this entire game. <coughs> it turns out we can do this. Can Cortez at least come in for the last 20? Like, I feel like someone needs to appreciate this. Jack would just say I'm an idiot. And just biotically lift herself up 182 times. What are we at now? 120? Wait for James to say something. Like, oh, I lost count. In which case, I will shoot him in his face. Uh huh. I will shoot you in the face, James, I promise. I'm gonna be sore for my date later. I do wish there was a couple of little sort of um, class-based <laughs> items around the area. Like when I'm here, like my drone can be around here. Nice. Thanks, man. <laughs> or just some more references, like, I don't know, the, the college that I went to as an engineer. <laughs> sort of get in contact with me and say hi. Because then there could be things for like an adept and a soldier. Like your old army buddies as a soldier or something. Because I've had a couple of bits where it's just like, oh, I forgot you're an engineer, or, ah, oh, yeah, I'm an engineer, bitch. Um, but I really like that, and I kind of feel like that should be more. Because they already sort of give us um, personalised bits with our backstories. So the class should really be amongst that. What are we up to now? 140? 150? <coughs> James, can you give me a number? <coughs> so that's a sexually charged look there. <coughs> Only Jack gets to see that face. Well, and Ashley. <coughs> and Shaira. Weirdly, which I didn't consent to. She just took me into her sex bubble. Because I said, your gift is shit, so she slept with me. <laughs> Funniest interaction so far, I really think. That's like... Just the, just the not designed to be funny, but just the... That was weirdly funny. And my friends were still in the room as well. They like She didn't usher them out. It's like, get in the bubble, Shepard. Oh, to be almost there now. So close. Yeah, what number? 160, 170? <coughs> so I find out you don't get anything because this was all a fever dream. And I collapsed after two pull-ups. I'm just imagining... I'm going through spasms just imagining I'm doing the rest.
Come on. Got to be like 10 away now. <laughs> really? Are we still going? James, give me a number, please. Do I unlock the James Vega clothes for myself? Can I just go around in a little tank top? What? Holy hell, you did it! I... I don't know what to say. How you feeling? I feel good. Like I could do another 183. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, <laughs> loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. What? That's like insinuating I'm old. Hey, man, you still got it. Good on you. Patronize us all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> You get to do this all the okay. time. Okay. Just let me have some fun. I would punch you in the face, but I have the structural integrity of wet spaghetti. So I'm going to let you do whatever you want right now. And I'm going to go nap until shore leave is over. I didn't get anything. <laughs> that better come up. That, I'm still. That's going to be a bit like later on, he's going to be like, oh, by the way, he did this. And everyone's going to be like, oh, Shepard, you're amazing. That, that's my dream. That's my dream. Better be. Liara, you flirted with me when I met you at the beginning of the Citadel DLC. I'm inviting you to my apartment for platonic reasons. Because you are the Shadow Broker and my colleague. Don't make me bring, like, a squirty water bottle. Is that romantic music? She can play. Greetings, Commander. <laughs> Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Why this song, then? You learned this and committed it to memory. Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. <laughs> she took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. Genuinely a nice song. Piano is one of my favourite um, musical instruments. I love piano instrumentals. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. In a platonic way. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. Platonically. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. <laughs> I am a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I should go. I have reports to look over. You can work here, but also, come on, it's shore leave. Take a break. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Ah. It's a very nice song. Glyph, why are you in my piano?
Okay, so you only have to play it once and Glyph is just our stereo now. I don't want to turn it into romantic mode, but hello. This place is nice. It is nice. Can I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. It's nice to be invited first, but sure, okay. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Shepard. Okay, sure, yeah, just hang out here. James, are you still punching? Nope, he's gone. He got too girly when a piano got involved, so he's, he's left. I wonder how much shore leave we have. Is it like a couple of weeks? Or is this like all happening in a couple of, like a day? Um, Miranda. Invite Miranda over. It's going to be interesting. Miranda. Still in Good combat mode. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? Wrinkle! I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? What have you heard? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? <laughs> yeah, of course, it's so Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Yes. Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? That's interesting. I wonder if I go back to Mass Effect 2, Hope Lilium shows up. Yeah, come on, is this funny? You're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Nothing to do with me. Health Shepherd, inspectors. You didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. That's true. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you, did the game just make reference to the fact that I killed my fish? <laughs> I did not kill my fish. Absolutely not. Kelly killed my fish by being abducted and um, dying. So we'll blame Kelly, but we'll actually blame the elusive man because the elusive man set us up to be attacked and uh, Kelly got taken and she didn't leave enough food in the fish tank before she got taken. So it's not my fault. Uh, running, jumping, gunfire, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I don't want it. I want to retire. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. <laughs> do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. No, but Clone or not, down the bottom. I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. <laughs> That's a nice one. I like that. You helped me kill my father. Now we're just firm friends. 
wonder how many of these are going to be, like, would be different if you were romancing them. Why have I not heard from Jack? I want to hear from Jack. Invite up Tally. Come on, girl. Welcome to the apartment that's bigger than your ship. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? Yes. I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Are we watching a rom-com? Did you come around my house to make me watch a rom-com? We can never be together. I have my duty. And you... Why that music? Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Can't tell how emotional she is. She's probably like weeping in the mask and I'm thinking. Okay. I mean, can I do something that's a bit in between? Those are two very different things. This is ridiculous. It is insulting her. She loves this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the up one. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila. So many feelings. Yeah, it's uh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> when this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already have. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it, sacrificing her life. Interesting, so... It's the one thing that I haven't really got, because... <clears throat> Quarian faces would be known because there would have been a quarian that died at some point on another planet and they would have removed their mask they've done an autopsy or done whatever and in that film she takes her mask off i'm guessing that's why she had the infection for three weeks so people would know what they look like but when i went to uh i was gonna say vision <laughs> when i went to legion's um matrix they said, oh, you don't know what they look like, so we've got their master. Still, I'm glad she's enjoying rom-com night. That's cool. At least I didn't have to do any fucking pull-ups. Glyphmon. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, don't you will need party. to purchase supplies on the I strategy. believe I have people that want to see me. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. I am not going to buy party supplies, and I have stolen your credits. I'm going to buy alcohol. Right. Do we have more people? We do. We have... Oh, just Cortez. Okay. Will more people email if I deal with this? Deal with this. Right, come on, Cortez. I would have so romanced you if you hadn't just lost your husband. Nothing like preying on a vulnerable man. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. <laughs> In my day, we called them windows. windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Oh, we're gonna top gun it! Whoa! We're gonna feel some G. That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Hit it. Show me. Let's rock. I'm <laughs> 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 gonna get arrested, dude. <laughs> you see, it doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Let's go, Maverick. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. 
I'd wear a G-suit when flying my Trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Yeah. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting yes. you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I think I've um I think I've said that before. It was when um it was when the collectors took the ship and we were all in the same area and I was just like we we can't do anything in that ship. So if someone shoots us, all of us die. Like we are completely vulnerable if we are not in control of our own movements and you can move around a little rectangle Kodiak and you can't do anything else, you're in the air. It's like in fights, you don't jump in a fight because the, you know, your person you're fighting instantly knows where you're going to land. You've just shown him your movements for the next seconds. Um, maybe Joker is so harsh. Uh, no, um, Joker is a pilot for a frigate. He is a larger um, ship pilot. You're a fighter pilot. Two very different skill sets, and I wouldn't have any one other than you, man. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Are we doing laps around the entire Citadel? Or are we on, like, the M25 or uh, Route 66 of the Citadel? I mean, I think that's everyone. Back to the apartment. See if we've got any more invites. There's a couple of people that I still want to see. Mainly of a Krogan nature. Or a bad ash biotic uh, bad ash. You have received a new message. Bitch. Bad ash biotic bitch. Glypho. You know what? No, I'm not doing this formally. Come on. We're on sure leave. I want a hoodie. And also, where's my Volus plushie? It's not on my bed. The hot tub being on is just a fervent waste of electricity. Where is my plushie? I earned that plushie. It'd be so funny if you could attach it to your armor. Uh, right, casual. We're going cash. We're going cash. We're on shore leave. I don't want to be commander when I'm on shore leave. I want to be your buddy, your pal. And I want to know where my Volus is. I spent good money getting that. And I never win claw machines in real life, so... Is it out here? Oh man! Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll find it later on. It'll be the one spoiler I give myself. I'll look it up online. I'll spoil the whole game by finding out where the Volus goes. Oh, hello. Rain check. Uh, from Commander Specialist Samantha the Trainer. Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head-to-head -head with Tsuza. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know whenever you're free and I'll come by. Absolutely. Memorial service from Koliak... Koliak Krios. Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a comm call from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service, where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there, as well as these, those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand at human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this as part of the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. Oh, that just brought the mood down. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah. For his son, absolutely. Because I don't know where... Well, no, his son was there when he died, but he didn't get to see a huge amount of him, I think. Official input required from C6 Central HQ. Report. 
number 2843 AD3 slash F4. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report to the CSEC officer on patrol on the Silver Sun Strip for additional details. Officer Johnson. Yes, I... Was he arrested? <laughs> uh, Hello there, Mrs. Clive. Yes, we have your son. <laughs> oh, crap. Come hang out. Jacob Taylor. Shepherds of the Normandies and Dry Docks. Seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level. If you're game. Go time from Ashley Williams. With all this stuff about pretenders, I figured there was one thing, one more thing we had to settle. Meet me at the casino bar. You're scared. Like, I found you unconscious on the floor after drinky time with uh, Vega. Am I going to have a drinking contest with you? Um, I am going to leave that to be the last one we do of this batch. Because I I can't lead with that and then go and do the fun things. That is going to be... Oh. Mordin was a slow burn. Mordin was... You gradually came to it as what happened. It's like, oh, the tower's blowing up. Anyway, Shepard, I've got to go up there. What? Hang on. No. And you had times, but ultimately you knew he was going to be going up there. And then you got the cutscene. With Thane, it was just mid-fight. He was kicking ass and then just... And it's just shock. And then on his deathbed... Ask forgiveness for me. So, um... We're gonna wait. Trainer, come on. Come over here. Let's go on that date we never got you to You sure have. you want to leave that here? Oh, she I won! Very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. She won! That's this so cool. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. Where the fuck are you going? And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Jack, I'm Cheers. sorry. Like, can I... I'm a terrible person, but I love Trainer. I love her so... Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and <laughs> cats. <laughs> and public speaking. Oh, I am as well. Don't worry about that. I take a that. proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too. And an inhaler for asthma. Are you like... Okay? Are you dying? <laughs> you just need everything. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Toothbrush? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. <laughs> oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah, here you go. Like, if Thanks. You... Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one. Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Adjustable massage ones. Do you normally keep that with the bath oil? Okay, fine. You know, if you wore a decent swimsuit, like, you know, a, one that was respectable as opposed to what looked just like lingerie, I could have joined you and we could have just had a chat in the hot tub. You didn't need to just get <laughs> a hot tub. Go on. Cheers. Oh, God, trainer. Never change. Never, ever change. We still haven't had that lunch, by the way. <laughs> like... 
It's like, well, I was trying to have lunch with trainer and then she she cut me off to play chess and then she got naked. So we never got a chance. Um, what am I doing over there? Nope, the only other one is Koliat and we'll do that last. I still haven't heard from Jack. I am hoping there is... I'm hoping there is a Jack meet. You know, the romance option, the person I've stayed loyal to. I'm hoping. But we will deal with all of these first. CSEC officer Jacob and Ashley. Right. I didn't actually look where they were. Uh, two. Oh, so he's just over here somewhere. CSEC officer. I have to retain a grunt. They're a probation officer for a grunt. Oh, I've gone past it. The real difficulty, of course, will be getting the pie jack. Wait for before. Jacob. I'm, I'm, I said, I said uh, grunt first. We'll do grunt first. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hello, officer. You have a six-month-old Krogan, I believe. Officer. Someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. Okay. Noodle House. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. I can't just spec to you Shepard, out. I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. Really? I'm not giving what him happened? a freebie. I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Last time I saw you, you wanted something to eat, but your insides were very much outside. But you were in that and hospital I thought you were dead from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. <laughs> That's why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. I mean. <clears throat> Anyone get hurt? I'm assuming no one got hurt because they did just sort of go, oh. <coughs> I said I'll vouch for him and they went, all right. So I'm glad you're out, man. I understand you're getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. No, it's where people die. Yeah, full of sick people. Exactly. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. Oh, it's been yeah, a year. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? <laughs> no, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? <laughs> yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. <laughs> Just gasoline, isn't it? The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. The we didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Yep, you're right. I... That's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> so how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Oh, no, my boy Grunt. Bro's got a bro's back, man. Come on. This is a crazy story, and I am more than happy to play along. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Yes, it's classified. That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. 
by a cobra claw. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. I do love you, Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love him so much. <laughs> He's on fire, running from police, eating noodles, but the noodles are a little spicy. I have this perfect spot. Long sight lines, good cover, no way to get flanked. We could have bunkered up, set up kill zones, used a drone or a decoy to lure Reaper forces into position. And where's everyone else? Standing at the top of a ramp. <laughs> Ramped bad. Enemies all around. Yes, exactly. And no cover. I feel like they're calling out my playstyle. She's just slagging off people. Uh, brutal side objectives, but uh, even then, oh well. We had to... She's just bitching about people. Uh, Jacob. Haven't you got a baby on the way, dude? Hey, Shepard, over here. I believe you're going to call it Shepard? Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Is that your kid? Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. Oh, man, What about that's us, cool. Shepard? It's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Dude. It's you and me. I'll kick your ass. Bring it on, Taylor. Let's see what you've got. What are we playing? I have played the games in there, I, unless there's another one. I played the Claw. I played Real Steel, and I played Asteroids. This is your game of skill? Real Steel it is. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? At Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't oh. think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. That You're on. is annoyingly no pressure, true. Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. <laughs> Ready? Oh, I love the trash talk. Let's do this. But here's the thing. Glad none of your kids. friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! He's got a lot of kids that with him. You got? And I don't want that to all you got? Come on, come on, come on! Careful, Shepard. Don't break a hip now. Here's where my comeback starts. I thought I jabbed Whoa, him. I thought the jab. It. Yep. Well done, man. Seriously. You beat me. Yeah. Jacob wins. <laughs> Damn. Robbed. I was robbed, I tell you. Ah, uh, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. No. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Nah, man. The kids. The kids idolize you. It's a bit like Garrus. Let's just, like. It's not the Shepherd Show. It's a massive group effort, and uh, I'm not going to get anywhere just uh, beating everyone repeatedly. <clears throat> Besides, when they go back now, if they go, those kids are going to be like, "Oh my God, Jacob beat Commander Shepherd at a game." And it's going to mean so much to them. It's going to take their minds off of MIA parents. Welcome to Silvercoat. Is this where it is? She's in the bar, which is upstairs, I believe. Is there an Ashley? There is an Ashley. I'm looking for a Lieutenant Williams. Hello. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the Pretender? You talking to me? Pretender, huh? Which one of us is still wearing training wheels? 
Laugh it up, Commander. It's all downhill from here. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. It's gonna be like J um, <laughs> James's pull up. Uh huh. Glamorous and beautiful superstar Spectre agent first. I'll go first then. Sorry, as pretender next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. Oh! You did not just say that. Yeah. I sure did. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's go. Let's go. Go and take I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient history. We'll you see. Know, I expected better. I'm saving my best moves for later. No, no, no I'm not best sleeping with moves. her. At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. I should have Boom. saved Caden. Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Don't. Captain uh, Carter said you that. You have to. Died. <laughs> Had enough. Is this over? I'm just warming up. Good. Me too. Let's get some wrinkle, girl. Hey. My friend doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. <laughs> My friend doesn't like you. Wasn't that Star Wars? <laughs> I swear that's Star Wars. My friend doesn't like you. I don't like you. Well, okay. What can I get for you? Uh, nothing more, please. I'm smashed. And now, after all of that happiness and bravado, let's, whilst still drunk, give a memorial to Thane Creels. Yes, Koliat, it's a human custom, actually, to be hammered whilst you give a memorial service. Otherwise, they're not memorable. I remember it. Lens. I thought you could meet me down on the strip. And we'd go from there. Anything you want to do, just name it. You want to go where? Okay. <laughs> you want to go to Cora's Den? That place is a shithole. Arya Talok still top of the leaderboard. I just don't see what the point is. No, you wouldn't. Joyless turd. <laughs> Jesus! Straight line speed is well and good, but how does a corner? Let's do corners like a songbird on a sunny morning. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, come on, get on board, you joyless turd. And what is that? Is Oh wow, okay, so I it's now an extra floor. On the Citadel. So I can go to the Citadel, buy more stuff, and then come back here. So if I just keep playing Quasar, I'll eventually get unlimited money. You have received a new message. And then I can uh, uh, get everything for the upgrades. I've received a new message. Hoping that doesn't mean that the uh, Koliat one has skipped. Okay, cool. How are you? From Samara, I overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there is any way that I can be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to call. Yay! It's Mum, please call, from Hannah Shepherd. Sweetheart, it's been a long time since we spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that, I don't know. But that's where you'll find me. Could you call me, please, once you get a chance? I would love to talk to you. Yay, Mummy Shepherd! 
Biotiball Goodwill Games from Steve Cortez. Shepard, the Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Usaru Ma Maestros in a Biotiball game. Should be epic. You've recently acquired an apartment with a sweet vid screen. Coincidence? James and I don't think so. You provide the couch and we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. Hell yeah. I'm assuming Biotiball is kind of like basketball meets Quidditch. Like... <laughs> Or it's, um, I can't remember what they call it, but it's the sport they play in uh, Avatar, Last Airbender, or Korra. Um, yeah, Korra the Avatar. Um, I, don't, I want to say bending ball, but it's not that. Um, Pencil me in from Miranda Lawson. Shepard, care for a night out? Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. But the one person I want to be here isn't here. Where's Jack? Okay. I am going to do the Koliat one. And then I'm going to finish this video. There is so much to do. I'm assuming Jack is in this. I'll be a bit annoyed if she's not. Because it's my romance, man. Um. So. I don't know how much is left of this but this is a hell of a long time and we've still got a party so it could be another two hour video in which case that would be like is that four videos in one DLC that's insane so we're going to be inviting Coley up and we're going to be finishing this video sad because <sighs> happily ever after is a lie We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Not a counselor. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. If we say Thane redeemed himself, isn't that saying he did something wrong? He did wrong all his life, but Thane redeemed himself by saving someone at the end. Thane never believed he did anything wrong. He was the tool that uh, assassins... No, not assassins. Um, that people used, basically. So people would hire a hitman, which would be him, and they would think that and he would see himself as just the gun they are holding it and pulling the trigger. If not him, someone else. So I don't want to say redeemed himself because that implies basically against Thane that he did wrong. Thane fought beside us. Brother in arms. There's an old human saying. Whoever saves one life saves the world entire. It's not about a plan, but the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life, or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 relay. It all happened pretty fast. He saved my life a lot whenever I But I do it. know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it didn't. These aren't Paragon Renegade. <clears throat> he set an example that the rest of you can follow? Or just, we will never forget what he did for us. I see that as a much more positive. We cannot thank Thane. But for those of us who have more time in this life because of him, we can remember how he lived. We do that. He's not truly gone. Hell yeah. Would anyone else like to speak? Tell what him. I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. 
Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... <clears throat> when I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. Be an important one, even if it's not. You may not see it as good, but it's important to remember what everyone here thought of him. I would have liked the counselor to say something, because, you know, he died saving his life. It'd be a good memory. I don't want to say it doesn't feel good. That's very negative. In time, I hope it will be a good memory. Doesn't feel good. No, I did what I could. Even then, it's just... There should be another option of just kind of... Yeah, it will be in time. Just let it process the grief, and then eventually it will be good. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... Good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Do it, of course. I mean, an entire race of people that are basically biologically designed to die from a terminal illness is terrible so yeah do it man if you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire yeah. I'm there. the fire's there i am renegade it's all right commander counselor ashiel could use some good press right now this is the right time for such a favor oh before i go i was organizing my father's possessions and i came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. He tried to send me messages. Check messages. What? He tried to send me stuff and I missed it. That better not be something I missed. Three messages. Please don't be anything I missed. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. 
but it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. And I didn't get that. Why didn't I get that? Because at the end of... Right, I hate it. I absolutely detest it. When something wrong happens, and then someone's response is like, Oh, well, it's not as bad as. I don't care if people have it worse. Something bad has happened. That person deserves attention. They deserve to have it treated importantly. If you've had an attack, don't just go, Oh, don't worry about it. I had a worse attack before. It's still an attack of some kind. I swear to God, if this is him getting worse and worse health-wise, and he's trying to ask for help... Oh. Please don't. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. Oh. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. Or the I was in prison. Is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please don't be bad. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message Aww. through to you. We'll see if it works. I've I ghosted have good him. News and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Like the shape of her eyes, trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground, see two tiny bodies locked by claws. Was he there for the attack? Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Oh. Okay, so... First of all, fuck them for uh, making me think he was on Earth for the attack. It was like, bodies locked in the claws of the re... It was lovely in Mexico. I saw a... <laughs> <laughs> what was it? A scorpion eating a cricket? That was it. It was lovely. I saw nature devour nature. Um. Oh, I feel so bad for not responding to him this entire time. It's awful. But I guess after sending that third message, then like not long after, I kind of found him in Where to Memorial. He said he didn't want to die in a hospital. Although he died in a hospital, he meant I don't want to die with a tube in my nose. Whereas actually he died during a fight saving someone. He died a proud warrior's death. But I still ghosted him. Where the fuck's my Volus plushie? I want to cuddle it. On that note, we'll end the video. 
Where is my jack? I need a jack right now. Oh look, there's my three medals of honor. <laughs> anyway, I need a jack right now because I need attention and love. So I'm going to call my mum and then invite Jack up. No, I'm, I'm hoping Jack will appear at some point. We've got a lot to do before then. We've even got stuff on the Silver Strip. Um, this is so much bigger than I thought and we haven't even done the party. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how much this originally cost, but this is... This is like a 30 quid DLC. Like, this is basically the price of the game again. Because you're getting so much from this. The conversations in the Silver Strip are a bit weird. I don't really get that. But everything concerning our people. There are references to, like, Star Wars. There's just stupid claw machines. There's options to be the good guy, the bad guy. I absolutely love how you can sort of alter things and I got Garrus laid and I'm waiting for Tally to come up to me and kill me with a shotgun and then I'm waiting for Jack to do the same but it's full play and yeah I'm I can't wait to do this again <laughs> like I don't know how far I am into this but I'm loving it and we've just crossed the two hour mark so we're on to about six hours I think for this for this video of oh, sorry for this DLC um yeah, thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, at least an hour of this two hours was just watching my animated character do pull-ups. Give it a like? I don't know. I don't normally ask for that sort of thing. Uh, no, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you're having a great week, as always, guys. And uh, take care. See you later.